Are you sick and tired of turning the ball over against a 2-3 zone? Do it just be having you so frustrated you want to break your controller? Well, look no further. I got y'all. All right, y'all, so there's three main ways that you can score on a 2-3 zone, and it's like, I promise y'all, it's the efficiency out of it. It's so hot. Like, you guys can literally score on a 2-3 zone easily every single time. The main key principle that you need to have when going up against a 2-3 zone is patience. You just got to be patient, y'all, because the zone is there to try and speed you up and take quick uh, shots that you think are good shots, but they're not really good shots. So you'll, you guys will see in a second what I'm talking about. The zone is so easy to break in, two, in 2K21 this year. And one last thing before we dive into it is you will need to have the Hawks 2018 freelance set up. If you don't know how to set that up, I'm not going to go over that. Go tap in with my video and I'll leave it up here for y'all. Make sure y'all get into that, tap in with that and learn that and then come back to this video. All right, y'all, so the first way I like to look to score is on a five-out situation where you just call pass and screen away, and the middle of the zone will just open up like the Red Sea if he doesn't control it properly, and you just have a wide-open dunk. And you want to get the ball into the hands of your best slasher. So for the Kings, it's Darren Fox. For the Sixers, it's Ben Simmons. You guys get the point, and you'll see right here what it looks like. So I just call my passing screen away, press L1, or tap L1, and then press uh, whatever icon is selected for passing screen away. As you see right here, it's already open. I attack that middle. Bam, he doesn't step up in time with the center because he gets out the key because they're they're just programmed to step out of the key for that defensive three seconds uh, rule. And there's a wide open deal. We're going to run it back again in full and real speed. And you guys see right here, bam, easy to, I like to go to this every single time to start out the game against the zone. All right, so now you're probably wondering, what do I do if he if he uh, stops that? And obviously, they're not. If you're playing a decent enough opponent, he's not gonna let you to continue to do the same thing over and over again. So now, what happens is if he steps up at the center or he stops you in the paint somehow, all you want to do is just hold the ball, hold L2 or LT in the paint, and you'll see right here. The only reason I say that is to protect the ball because you don't want to get stripped. Just hold the ball, as you can see, De'Aaron Fox is going into that post-up animation, and you see right here all five of them literally get collapsed and sucked into the key and you have two shooters all your guys are literally wide open and this is why i said in the beginning i like to have three or four shooters preferably three in um in a five out freelance for this reason and this reason only bam we get a wide wide open three ball for buddy healed obviously i just smoked it all right so here we go we got another example where we attack the key and we just be patient with it and have the defense collapse and you'll see right here as i attack the paint that corner is gonna get sucked in and Harrison Barnes is wide open for a three ball, y'all. All right, so this will be the last example of attacking the zone and just being patient in the paint and waiting for that two, three zone to collapse. Here it is. We attack that paint. As you see right here, we get in that paint area and everyone gets collapsed in and Buddy Hill is sitting pretty wide open on this corner for a three ball and we hit that one. All right, so here it is again. We're gonna attack that free throw line area. As you see, I'm stopping, slowing down right here. We try to get a kick out to Buddy. They He happened to get fluky tip on it. And then we try again right here, right back. We're trying to sit in that paint, going back to where we just collapsed the defense for another kick out. Still doesn't work. We're going to try it again. As you see right here, we're just in the middle of that paint. Bam, and eventually it's just going to work, y'all. It might not work the first time, the second time. It will work, though, eventually the third or fourth time, as long as you're just patient, y'all. All right, and this will be the last example of um, attacking that free throw line area and just being patient and trying to find that kickout pass. So right here, he stops me. He gets bump and he gets bumpy and contacts with me, but it's all good. It'll still work. You just got to make your way there and be patient, like I said. And they literally left. And when this happens and the center is out of position, you just go straight to the rim for an easy two, y'all. I'll run it back again for y'all in real speed. Bam, he makes a mistake, he leaves, he goes straight to the cup for an easy two. All right, y'all, so the first way that we went over to score was in the five out situation. Now we're gonna go over the second way I like to look to score in a two, three zone, and it's finding that center at the elbow spot. And again, you need to have Hawks 2018 freelance set up because this is how their freelance sets up if you don't call pass and screen away. So you just bring the ball up the court. You don't call anything. Your center is going to run to either elbow, y'all. One of these two spots right here where my mouse is. And as you see right here, all you do is get the ball to your center and hold L2 or LT. And for just, I don't know why, but just the, the way that the 2-3 zones program is broken. But if you hold L2, y'all like you you see this opening y'all like if you put Giannis right here or someone that's fast you it's always gonna be your center though so keep that in mind Hassan as you see right here he's good enough to do it 
at once he really moved out the way and cleared the way i just go straight to the cup bam easy to all day long all right so here's another example y'all where we get the ball to our center he's just posted sitting pretty right here at the elbow bam i hold l2 and the center just moves out of the way like i don't know why the hell they do that but it is what it is i ain't gonna complain i'd be patient i hold it for a second bam we slip it and go straight Boom, to the cup for easy two i'll play it back again for y'all in real speed in real time bam hold l2 Boom, straight Another to the rim, one. easy to all day long. All right, y'all, this will be the last example of where we get it to the center. As you see right here, I'm literally just bringing the ball up. I get it to Hassan, hold L2. What is Boom, that? moves out the way. This was an ugly one because I don't know what happened. Hassan decided to just sell me. But we tried again, bam, hold L2. He moves out of my way for some reason. I don't know why the CPU program to do that. It's broken, but you got to expose it, man. You just got to expose it, y'all. All right, y'all, so now let's say that he takes away that option of driving to the rim with your center. Let's say he decides to player control the center and step up. Now what you can do is you can send your teammates on a back cut. And if you don't know how to do that, tap in with my other tutorial that I just dropped on my five hour freelance. And I explain it really well in there if you don't know how to do it. So here it is, y'all. Get the ball to your center. Now let's say he, it looks something like this. You see how wide open he leaves this though? If he decides to step up with his center to do your back cut, send him on a back cut, Bam, look how wide open Buddy Heald is on that back cut. And now I'm going to play it back for y'all in real speed. We get the ball to the center, send him on a quick back cut. Bam, that's an easy two points. All right, here's another example of where we get it to the center. We don't call anything. We don't press anything. All we do is get it to the center, hold down that L2, send him on a back cut. Bam, wide open for an easy dunk. I'll run it back again for y'all right here. Hold down L2, send him on a back cut. Easy dunk at the, at the, at the cup for Harrison Barnes. All right, y'all, so to recap where we're at right now, we went over the first two ways to score, which is five out and finding your center at the elbow. Here's the last final and third way I like to score on a two, three zone. And it's by calling this play right here. Where, and if you see right here on the right side of the screen where my mouse is, it's punch five flare rip. If you don't know how to set this up and get this play into your favorite plays, tap in with my tutorial. I'll leave it somewhere in the screen for y'all. Make sure y'all tap in with that. I'm not gonna go over that because that's just a whole nother video to go over. But back to this video, you're gonna call this for your best shooter and you'll see what happens right here. We're gonna call it for Buddy Heal. So we call punch five flare rip. Once you get it to your center, you just wanna pump fake because it draws in these two guards. I don't know why it just does that. I've, I've realized that. Once you pump fake, these two guys will get sucked in. What? And as long as like the first two or three times you do this, he's not gonna, he's not gonna know what's coming. Bam, this is a wide open three ball for your best shooter. Like I said, you want to call it for your best shooter. So if it's Steph, Clay, whoever it is, I missed it. I smoked it. But as y'all saw, this is a wide open three ball. And we'll run it back again for y'all in full speed. Bam, he gets the off ball screen, the flare screen. But we just sell on the, on the miss. All right, y'all. Here's our final example of how to score on a 2-3 zone in the punch five flare rip situation. So we call it for Buddy because he's our best shooter. We're going to get it to Hassan do our pump fake and as you see right here i don't know why they're just programmed to do this but the two guards will get sucked towards the key bro what are you talking about man hassan is as you see mike conley decides to just get, go run over there and buddy hill is wide open and if he tries to and if he tries to run this way and you have a screen right here that he's gonna get bumped into bam this is a wide open three ball Try. and unfortunately we just sell them we just sell on it i'll run it back again for y'all one more time it's really simple just get it to your center pump fake he's gonna go on a flare screen Bam, if this is any guy that has good enough badges, who's a knockdown shooter, and that you're comfortable with, this should be green all day long. All right, y'all, that is going to conclude this tutorial on how to score on a 2-3 zone three different ways. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it down low in the comment section, and I'll try to get back to you to the best of my ability. And let me know if you guys want any more tutorials, man. I'll put y'all on game, whatever y'all want. Let me know down below in the comments. But all right, then, y'all, that is going to wrap up this video. Hope y'all dig it. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 600 subs. It's completely free and it'll make my day. And as always, I appreciate every single one of y'all and much love.